This is the uh, vintage looking Sears. Kind of walking on the sidewalk here on the way back to the other part of the mall. Yeah, this, this Sears is very vintage. It's obviously closed though. I found this on the property at Golf Mill Mall. It looks like it was a Circuit City. Um, somebody that lives in this area can confirm that. Uh, that would be great. Hello, I am at the Golf Mill Mall in Niles, Illinois, located at Golf Road and Milwaukee Avenue. This mall opened as an open air center in October of 1960, features a office tower that looks like a golf ball, originally featured a Lord's Department Store, later replaced by a JCPenney's, and a uh, Sears. Um, in 1986, extensive renovations came to the mall, including in closing the mall between Sears and J.C. Penney's, and building an addition on the north end of the mall, featuring a main street. And later on in 1998, a Target was built. In 2007, it was renovated again, but just the south part of the mall, and it brought in a new uh, movie theater, as you'll see. In 1990, that building that I had a question about, it was in fact a Circuit City store. Other major stores included a, includes a Ross Dress for Less, and also a Gordon Food Service, and a Shop and Save supermarket, not related to the chain that closed down by St. Louis. General Growth Properties took over management of the mall in 1994. In 2009, it was took over by a firm called Milwaukee Golf Management Corporation and now is currently owned by Sterling Retail Services. Half of the food court was taken over by a 10,000 square foot Ulta Beauty Store which opened in the fall of 2017. And October 4th of 2018, Sears ended up closing. Correction, it closed in December 2018. It was announced that it was closing in October of 2018. I'm trying to read this from Wikipedia. So as you're going to see, there are a lot, a lot of empty spaces in the mall. Although there was a lot of people in the mall, it seems as if the anchors are trying to hold, hold the mall together. That J.C. Penney's, it was busy, but this mall needs stores. I mean, there's a lot of people in that mall, but a lack of stores. A lot of them closed like very recently. I think Victoria's Secret closed recently as part of a round of closures. And I think Children's Place is going to be closing too. They're having like um, a liquidation sale, it looks like. And with Sears being a walkthrough anchor, Coles and Target, that that North Wing, that Vintage Wing that I show that I'm showing you, or going to be showing you, that's cut off from the rest of the mall. So if this management company plays their uh, cards right. This mall could be a thriving mall if they redevelop that Sears and 
It, it, something needs to be done with it. I mean, it, there's just a lot of empty spaces in this mall. I don't know if the rent's too high or whatnot, but this could potentially be a nice mall. So, on that note, I hope you enjoy the tour of this mall. I do have a lot more content coming. I mean, this it's starting. The weather's starting to cooperate somewhat. Um, I'm going to be hitting the weekends hard, so be prepared for videos coming at you from this channel. So if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe, like, comment, and share, uh, and ple please watch um, some of my older videos too. Um, I'm coming up on a year anniversary of my first video, which officially was the Peru Mall video. So at some point, I'm, I'm going to be doing an update on that mall. So just uh, look out for a lot more content coming at you this summer. God bless you. Continue to support your local businesses. And continue to support your local mall. Thank <laughs> you. 